is this is the 2019 Nunarava. We're so excited to show you a full review of this convertible car seat today. This is a car seat that you may be researching. You may be looking at this or like a Klek Foom for a Britex car seat. And you may be wondering, is this the car seat that you should be getting? Good news is in this video, in this very special YouTube video, which I'm actually doing live, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the Nuna Rava for 2019. And here I am. Good morning, everybody. We're doing this live today, and I'm going to be showing you this full review. Um, this is the Flamer Tartan Free Nuna Rava. Now, all, convert, uh, all car seats from Nuna in 2019 are Flamer Tartan Free, which is really cool. Which that means that there are no like extra chemicals on there that are going to touch your baby, and it's FR Free, which is really cool. But let me show you a little bit about this car seat. Um, it's a convertible car seat. That means that it goes rear facing and forward facing. And also the nice thing about this car seat is that it installs using a seat belt as the preferred way of installation. And I'm gonna show you how that works right now. So the first thing you should know if you, um, if you um, come close, you'll see that it comes with an infant insert. And when you could use this from newborn, like starts at five pounds, and um, you adjust it by pushing this little recline button on the side. And you can see there's the rear facing and the forward facing. So you can have this in the rear facing position and you would be rear facing when you first started using this car seat. Now, if you're using an infant car seat, you're using those latch connectors. Or if you have a Nuna Pippa, you have that ISO fix. But so it's maybe a little bit strange with a Nuna Rava that you are using a seatbelt. But let me show you how that works. Um, as you can see in the Rava, this is like pretty new, this little one we have here in our YouTube studio. It comes with this infant insert, um, and that's something that you actually remove to be able to access the, um, the, the magical door that enables you to use to install this with a seatbelt. Um, but this is a really cool um, infant insert. You can see there's a wedge under it. So what that does is that it flattens out the bottom of the seat. So when your baby is first born and you're using this from a from a young age, you can um, it's like more comfortable for baby. But as your baby gets bigger, you'll most people start using a convertible car seat at about six months. This um, you use, you'll, you'll take out that infant insert. That's just for some people. I, I think probably most people don't actually use this part. But you take that out, and there's also a little head, sort of little head thing as well. But the way you see it now, all sort of open like this, is the way you'll typically use that Rava when you first get it. Also, notice the really nice texture on the bottom and the different fabrics. Nuna does a beautiful job with the fabrics. Okay, now what you do is, oh, this is really cool. You can tuck the um, actual buckle in these little buckle holders in the side, which makes it, again, easy for to put your kid in and out of the car seat. And then what you can do is you just open up this little snap here. Oh, there's actually no, right here. Little snap, unsnap it. And you can see here that there is, um, there are two different doors. Um, blue is for rear facing installation and red is for forward facing installation. Very similar to that um, color coding on the recline that I showed you before. And so what you do is you actually, that you put your thumb with this little arrow and you open up this little door. Now you can see it includes those latches. So if you wanted to install with a latch, you could, they're in there, you could use them. But like I said before, the preferred method of installing this thing is with a seatbelt. So I'm going to put those latches back in a little latch compartment. Goodbye. Okay. It's in there. Um, and now what you do is there are actually two cup holders on the side and you open up those cup holders. Open one up. And there's another one on the same side that's identical. And what that does, it actually creates a little passageway. And you take your seatbelt. I have this little demo seatbelt here. It's a fake seat. Um, no, this is not an installation video. None of the videos I do, none of the reviews are installation videos. These are just like a simple how-to Use a car seat tech, get certified, have someone actually certified check your seat. But this is how this actually works. But the nice thing about this car seat is you can install it by yourself. So what I did was like put that seat belt, as you can see, like right through that place where the cup holder comes through. And then what I do is just keep having that seat belt come through out the other way. I have really big hands. And so it's really easy for me to send these things through, which is nice because I think some of these car seats are very hard 
for people with big hands, or even with people with small hands sometimes, even. Okay, I'm going to keep moving the seatbelt across. Um, and I'm going to click that in. Cool. Click. Okay, cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply remove a little bit of the slack. All right? And I am going to just gently push this down. Gentle. That was super gentle. Like, there is no movement here, folks. Um, so unlike like tugging on a latch connector or anything like that, that tensioning plate is really keeping that super secure. Um, just so you know, there's one last step in a proper installation, and I'll show you what that is. Even though it's super secure, that's not actually considered an official lock off. So the last step is you take your seatbelt, you pull it out to the very, very end, and you turn it into, switch it into the ratcheting position, and a ratchet back and that's simple so push down the thing push down the tensioning plate pull your seatbelt all the way out until you hear the end and it's going to ratchet back safe and secure so now your baby is like really like nice and secure rear facing in in their rava um and the nice thing about this as well is that it installs really really well in most cars because as you can see here the recline actually moves in this direction let me show you I'm gonna undo the, the seatbelt again. Let me show you how that works. Do, 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 do. Undo the seatbelt. But I think a lot of people have a question about whether um, a convertible car seat is going to fit in their car. And other convertible car seats have like a tilt back. But the nice thing about this one, you can see it sort of it like sort of moves on a like on um like 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 a, like a rocks so it actually rocks towards the back seat which means that the fit of the seat works quite nicely um now you installing forward facing is very similar you turn the seat around you push down that forward facing button and you go back in the forward facing position and now it's in the forward facing position and if you're installing it you open up the red part and the seatbelt comes through the side, very similar to the way it did when you were doing the blue rear-facing position. Um, rear face, uh, forward facing up to 65 pounds. Oh, another reason why you might get the new Narava opposed to other convertible car seats is that the rear-facing weight limit is 50 pounds. That can be four or five years old even. And the safest way for children to ride in a car seat is in the rear facing position. That's because like if you're in a crash, God forbid, instead of your body jol jolting forward, you're gonna be moving your body back in and cushioned by the car seat. Um, just so you know, if you have any questions about convertible car seats, rear facing, forward facing, I know this stuff is very confusing. Our experts are here to answer your questions at questions at mbeans.com, or you can call us at 617-383-8259. All that information is in the description below. But let me continue. Forward facing, so rear facing to 50 pounds, forward facing until 65 pounds. There's no anti-rebound bar, but this is still a super, super safe car seat. There's also a non-rethread harness. So if you had a Pippa, you remember you had to like move the straps as the baby got bigger. But the nice thing about the Rava is that you just pull up this little button on the top and you can have the seat grow with your child, which is super nice. Also in the rear facing position, like I said, it's the 50 pounds. They have extended leg room. So you can see they add an extra two inches of space on the bottom when you're in the rear facing position. You wouldn't use this in the forward facing position, but that's a nice feature for the rear facing position. We just push that back in. Um, we also do comparisons of the car seats, which you can see um, also on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, go check us out on one of our next videos.